Now, Eastern Cape Health MEC Noma Kosaza, uh, Noma Kosaza, pardon me, Meth says she is saddened by the death of a baby girl born with a rare medical condition. Baby Anotando was born in with the progeria in Lebodi. She passed away at the Nelson Mandela Academic Hospital in Mtata on Wednesday. And that's where we find senior reporter Malungela Boy. Malungela, very good morning to you. What a sad story. Tell us more. That's right, Mpo. In fact, we are here at the Nelson Mandela Academic Hospital. That's where baby Anotando has actually been receiving care. And we're told that she passed away on Wednesday afternoon, Mpo. We're told then, Mpo, uh, that she, a, a team really of medical experts here in Umtata, working with medical experts in Cape Town, were really doing everything, you know, <laughs> to their best of their ability, really, to help this little girl. But we've also been told, though, that um, she died of, 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 of following investigations that, you know, the doctors and the nurses were carrying out, that she, died. she had an underlying medical condition, which they're saying that it was a congenital infection that led to complication resulting to her passing. And I must say, Dompo, that where on Wednesday, um, when we were visiting her home in Gavu Gavu in Libode, that's about, what, two hours away from where we are. It's in the deep deep, deep rural areas of the Eastern Cape interacting with her family and her family was actually saying that they were actually looking forward to having this little girl back at home and it's also important to note that when this little girl was born Mpo, she was born she was delivered at home and then she was transferred to St. Barnabas Hospital first before she was transferred to here at the Nelson Mandela Academy Demic Hospital where she ultimately died and her family was saying to us in fact yesterday they confirmed to us her passing and the health department here in the Eastern Cape also yesterday afternoon issuing the statement confirming the passing of this little girl and of course the health MEC of this province Noma Kosazana Meth actually saying that she is saddened really by the passing of this little girl and that the really looking forward to assisting her and providing her with all the medical care that you know she needed and you can actually see um, that there was a team really of medical experts including doctors nurses psychiatrists and also social workers that were working with this little girl and her family in helping them but unfortunately um, she passed away um, on Wednesday and of course there were tests, several tests that were being done Mpo, on her condition but unfortunately she passed away but I also think Mpo, it is important to also mention that when this little girl was born Mpo, I mean her images you know you were making rounds um, you know in the community and also in parts of this province and in the country and her grandmother told me on Wednesday that that really hurt her you know that that was painful and hurtful to her because a lot of people were actually not sympathizing with this little girl but instead you know they were making fun of her but when we were at the village you know interacting with some of the community members you know they were saying that they were looking forward to ultimately having this young boy this young lady or this young girl back at the village you know and welcoming her and helping her fit into that particular community and unfortunately Unfortunately, that won't happen anymore. And in fact, I must say that on the 28th of this month, she would have been three months old. Mpo? Malungelo, this is a rare genetic condition which uh, causes one to age uh, quite fast. Yeah. And I suppose there is still, um, you yeah. know, judging from what you've told me there, an educational that still needs to be communicated yeah. on this rare condition and how in future uh, people can be more sensitive to something like this.
That's right. In fact, that's what, you know, Noma Kosazana met in the statement that she released yesterday afternoon spoke about, spoke about, you know, communities need to be sensitive to some of the medical conditions that people, you know, at times are born with, especially a rare condition like this one. Um, and, 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 and of course, Mpo, as you rightfully said, you know, um, when, when I was talking to the grandmother on Wednesday saying that, you know, she, when the image of, when, when she heard that the image of her grandchild, you know, was making round and people were making fun of her. And that was so painful to her because she too also, you know, was also trying to understand what is this condition that her granddaughter had. And she also needed help from authorities to help her understand this. Um, you know, and also I must say that the community, the, the family, in fact, I must say, the family had actually been left traumatized by, you know, by the ridicule uh, that they had actually received, you know, as a result um, of, 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 of this. But all they're saying is that they were actually looking forward to receiving this child and actually living with her and seeing her grow. But I must say, though, when we were at the village, when I was interacting with some of the villagers, they actually said that they were actually looking forward to ultimately having that child back into that particular community and help her fit in. Mpo? Very well, Malungelo. Let's uh, leave it there for now as, of course, uh, Malungelo boy wrapping up there, giving us a sense of the impact of the death of a three-month-old uh, baby on a family with uh, the rare condition. But we will continue to learn more about this condition throughout the course of, of the days.